What's up guys? So I just got into 3D printing about six months ago. Prior to that, I had absolutely zero idea what 3D printing was, no experience in 3D modeling, anything like that. So what I wanted to do today is make this video to talk about whether or not I would recommend to somebody else that has absolutely no experience with this if they would get into if they should or should not get into it. Now, quick disclaimer, uh, this video is definitely going to be geared towards people who have zero experience 3D printing or 3D modeling. I'm actually not even going to talk about 3D modeling really at all in this video. I am primarily gearing this towards people who want to just get a 3D printer and then start printing things that they find cool. All right, so I really just wanted to get into the super basics of what people are probably thinking when they're trying to make a decision of whether or not they want to start 3D printing. So I'm really just going to go over two topics, okay? The first one being cost, budget, how much it's going to actually cost you to get into this hobby. The second thing I want to talk about is the learning curve, how long it's going to actually take you to get things printing, print the things that you want to print, know what's going on, not have any issues, things like that. Hopping right into the budget. So obviously the first and main expense that you're going to have when getting into 3D printing is the 3D printer itself. Now, when it comes to entry level 3D printers, there are a lot of different options, okay? I personally went with the cheapest one I could find, which lucky for me was actually a pretty decent printer for when you're getting started out, which was the Ender 3. Um, it doesn't have a lot of the nice features, but it was really good learning experience. Let's just put it that way. Nowadays, I definitely wouldn't recommend that printer as your first considering that there are a plethora of options for under $300. Okay, yes, I am aware that was extremely vague as far as actually giving you a price as to what the 3D printer costs. Now, let me give you a few actual recommendations in. Now, I personally have the Anycubic Cobra 2. I absolutely love that printer. It runs you about 270 bucks on Amazon. Great, super fast, has all the nice features that you're gonna want to not have a pain in the ass time getting your first prints out. If you don't like that one for whatever reason, you also have the Elegoo Neptune 4. Um, I don't know much about it, I don't have one. Other than the Elegoo is an absolutely great brand and I couldn't recommend them enough for just any of their products. Now, finally, if you don't want to spend that much money and you really are on a budget and you want to keep it under $200, that's really not a problem because you have the Ender 3. That was actually my first 3D printer. I love it. It's not the best because like it, it's obvious it's a $180 printer, but Anyway, like I was saying, for $180, you're not gonna get all the super nice features like auto leveling and a couple other things that come with the ones that are closer to $300, but it's definitely still gonna print the stuff that you need and it's definitely gonna teach you a lot about 3D printers, so not a bad starting option. Moving on to the second and really only primary cost that you have when 3D printing, and that is the filament itself. Obviously, you need filament or you're not gonna make shit. Now, <laughs> Filament really isn't that expensive. I keep the 3D printer running pretty much nonstop, and I go through um, a one kilogram roll, which is pretty standard uh, size as far as when you buy them. Uh, I go through one of those rolls in a week, maybe two weeks per printer. So each kilogram roll runs anywhere from $15 if you're getting like a super basic one single color up to maybe $30 if you want like a fancy tricolor gradient glow in the dark. There's all kinds of cool stuff. Now moving on to an example, um, I have this mask here that I printed uh, just as far as cost goes for this mask. So this took me about two thirds of a roll of filament. I had the exact numbers behind me on the computer, but I don't have them pulled up in front of me. So I'm just going to give you a guesstimate. So this was a fancy roll of filament. As you can see on the inside, it's nice and shiny or nice and colorful. So this roll of filament cost me $28. We use about two thirds of it. So this costs roughly 18 to 20 dollars for this helmet which is a really big piece sitting seated next to me uh-huh so really you can make a lot of a lot of cool stuff off of one roll and it's really not that expensive so just to give a quick summary on the cost of getting into it i would recommend one of those printers that runs between 250 and 300 dollars they're just so worth it when you're getting started out and you don't know that much about what you're doing um so Add that to the cost, we'll just say 275, split it right in the middle, plus 25 to $50 for some filament. Um, probably 300, $325 will get you started printing with anything that you wanna make. 
Now, as far as the learning curve, the absolutely fun part that everybody loves about getting into a new hobby. Now, the main learning curve that you're gonna run into is probably going to be the slicing software, okay? The machine itself can be confusing, but once you understand it, which really you'll probably get down when you're setting it up, you should be okay to at least know what kind of maintenance you have to do. It's pretty basic to understand, just wheels, nozzles, the obvious stuff. Um, and you should be okay. Now, as far as the slicing software goes, the good thing is for the most part nowadays, you can just get into the software, select what printer you have, and it will automatically load all of the settings that you need to have to make a standard print with that printer. Now, getting into some of the crazier printers that are out there, the not so main brand ones, they do not have default settings, so I would not get one of those printers because you're going to have to go in and set up a whole lot of settings all by hand, and you will have no idea what you're doing, you will get overwhelmed, and you will stop 3D printing immediately. Now, actually, how bad is the learning curve for the slicer software? I would probably give it on a scale of 10, a five. It's really not difficult. Um, there's guides everywhere on the internet nowadays. You know how it is. You're watching this video. The internet is a beautiful thing. Wrapping up, would I suggest that anybody, just a regular Joe, stupid man off the street like me, get into 3D printing? Absolutely. freaking lutely There's literally no better time out there than right now. There's all these companies releasing budget printers that are just so good for anybody to get into. You can make anything you want. There's all these guides. Printing is the future. I mean, they're doing all kinds of things with it now. People make food, hearts, anything that you can think of. Houses are even being printed nowadays. So I would suggest jumping in now, getting ahead of the trend, and get printing.